Sue again. I'm if I had a guess, it's probably going to be all Joker. All right. I mean, he might pull out the Isabel again. <laughs> my, it took one game. Oh, that's true. I forgot he does have the Isabel. Where are all the Isabel names in the world? You know, I feel like all three of them—they're like crying that Isabel is forgotten as a character. Yeah. She was thrown in, and then they're like, "You know what? That's good. You wanted Isabel. Here she is. Let's." Here's your honorary Isabel main card. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, we're gonna go buff these other characters now. Yeah. All right, starting off on final D, elegant. You know him. Gets one hit with Luigi. You're gonna die. Classic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go. Okay, I was like, don't yeah. go me, Fado. I or me. I don't want to see it. Oh, well, did you have the hard read? There we go. The Isabel. Yep. I mean, yet again, I feel like it's one of his best characters against uh, Elegant so far. Mm -hmm. Isabel, yeah. While not really a known character, Isabel still has like that annoying neutral, throwing out the pellets, throwing out the nares. All right. You're like, there's no way this character would be this safe. But once you get her, get her in disadvantage, like look at that. He she almost died there. I mean, that's one of the annoying things about. Uh, villager and Isabel is that you know you pop both of the balloons you think like oh great she's dead except like they pop up so high it's almost like a, they air dodge upwards yeah they definitely get that jump and to be fair they do that is really good because if they just got the balloons and like fell it, it would be really depressing and the recovery be like a lot worse right so I think it's like a fair change right. or not a fair thing to have All right. it definitely may like I feel like you almost never see a villager or an Isabel die because both their balloons got popped you know yeah it's really rare to do it because, like, you have to have that good spacing and you need to be low enough. Right. Ooh, Nair double jump up with the Cyclone. Going to take that first stock. Only 39% on Elegant. Again, just not really able to get much damage. Finally getting a back air. That's it. Uh, yep. Also oh. the fishing line. Not going to get anything. Yep. Ooh, lands with the Tornado. And yet again, Elegant is kind of just swinging in him. Yeah, he's definitely just... Yep. It's hitting him. Oh, yeah. He wanted that there so badly. He wanted that up B really badly, too. But oh, gets F smash, congratulations. Yeah. I, lo I love her F smash just because like, it's just that party confetti thing. Yeah. It's it's such a bad F smash, though. Like, oh, my God. Like It lacks range, and the only good part is the fact that it's lagless. But, yeah, it lacks range. Yeah. Like, the only way you're hitting with that move is if off of, like, a hard punish. You yeah. Know? But I love seeing it because every time we see it, I always see all that congratulations. Yep. But right Happy now, birthday, boom. But you know who's not getting congratulated, Isabel. He's yep. yeesh, already three stocks to one. Not really being able to find this kill because your main killing tool is when you get that edge guard or if you get the uh, the fishing line. And fishing line is not actually a command grab. All right. You would think it's a command grab, but it's not. But yet again, that Lloyd Rocket is actually a really good uh, trap setup because it covers roll, and so you can combo into it off of, um, into an up air. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing is that you can, if you have any disjoint, you can just hit it and explode it immediately with like right. no no repercussions. Yeah. And then if they set it up, once you come back from the platform, you just walk on top and then walk away. Yeah. You know what the other sad thing is? Is that if you're fast enough, you can just run past it too. Yeah, that's true. Try to go for the down throw uh, up B. Congratulations again with the F smash, but. That's really all you're gonna get, and I think that was probably the most optimal punish. All right. It's not like she's a uh, villager where she, they can uh, bury them first and then get an F smash. You True. Know? Down throw. Oh, oh, actually catching the air dodge in too. All right. And now the Isabel is really not looking like the pick. Ooh, although, he, although he did get that first stock, but it's just look how much elegance getting him. Oh uh, yeah, oh. tries to go for the runoff down. He really wanted that down that, uh, that edge guard, but Elegant catch him low on the ledge a little too long. The down smash too stock for Elegant. He looked looked like that as well. Did not mean a damn thing to him. All right. He's just like, okay, I lost to this character once. Let me lab how to how to beat this character so that this doesn't happen again. He probably lost the one game, and he's like, all right, that's how I beat him. All okay. right, I got it. That's this this what happened right here? This will never happen again. Yeah. He, Took him a couple seconds to figure it out. Then he's like, "You're done for. You're not. You're not getting these. Like, you're okay. I'm. I'm not getting cheesed out a second time. Yep. Going back to the Lucario. And again, Lucario got a few quality of life buffs. You know, nothing too extreme. But yet yeah. again, like I believe, like forward smash, like the sweet spot is a little bit bigger. Uh, forward tilt, like kills earlier, stuff like that. So nothing like super insane. But like a lot of like small minor buffs that like kind of like help him. Yeah, I don't know too much about Lucario, but I think he is in a good spot right now. And I'm glad uh, Sue's still playing him because he's, he's such a good character. He was such a good 
player with him in Smash 4, right. and he's still good with him in this game, too. I feel like he was the only good Lucario player in uh, Smash 4. I think he was the only consistent one, because, like, Lucario in himself is such an inconsistent character, and he was just really good at being consistent with him. Mm. You'll see other people, like, pop off with him, but it just wasn't to the effect of Sue. That one Frostbite uh, performance, like, I, was it 2016, I think? That was that was when, like, Sue, like, came onto the scene, and that's when I was like, oh, okay, there's this player, and he plays with Karyon. Like, he's actually insane. It was one of the Frostbites. I don't yeah. remember, but I think you're right. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. F-Smash. Going to take off that first stock. That was really competitive for that first stock. Right. Nobody really dying super early, especially with the nature of both those characters. Reading the neutral get up with the F-Smash, that hit from so far away. Right. You know, he was at zero, too, so, like, that was low, no rage, uh, no aura S smash. Mm -hmm. So still 36% on Sue, not really being able to find the opening. Gets the down air, but no, both hits not going to actually connect. All right. Ooh, manages to find a quick low combo here, this gets the grab. Oh, oh, tries to go for the up air, but I don't think he buffed it correctly. Allegan, if your thing isn't true, I'm going to cycle it out of it. All right. Ooh, gets an air into the dash attack. All right. Now, seventy one percent. He's at like mid range aura, so you know his aura sphere is actually like a decent like projectile now. Mm -hmm. He's charging up that aura spear. Yeah. I mean, why not? It's free shield pressure at the very least. Yeah, but at the distance, it's like elegant could react, and there's no reason to roll in. So he really has to. It really is like that game of chicken. Like someone has to do something first. Oh, he tried to catch him with that read, but just didn't hold on long enough. Counter going to just destroy him off that platform. Is that going to kill him too? Yeah. Even on Kalos. Revenge stock immediately, one stock apiece, and we all know what that means. Don't get grabbed. All right. For both players at this point. True. Yeah, you can see Sue like, just like, wants that grab. Look yeah. at him. And you can see Sue just like, I'm going to be in the air as much as possible. Yeah, don't ca uh, you're not going to catch me on the ground. Right. Like, I don't mind eating a back air. I don't mind eating anything else as long as I don't get grabbed. He's still at 18%. Yep. Ooh, goes for a little bit of charge on the up smash. I don't really like that idea. Could have just had that quick damage. Right. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. He had the idea. Right. Knew he was going to air dodge. Gets a quick fair into Nair. D yeah. It's uh, both hits of the Nair. And again, Elegant breaking that with a Nair and then looking for the combo. Is that death? That oh, my is, God. Yeah. I didn't think he was actually going to die from that, too. Yeah. I thought he was going to have enough time at, like, the bottom of the blast room to up B. No, I, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if he was trying to wall, if you could wall cling out of an air dot.